This is a video review of the CTC Tech M8H S812 Streaming Player TV Box. It runs Android 4.4, has a Cortex A9 R4 processor, and has uh, XBMC Kodi pre installed. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what's included. So here's the TV box itself. Get into this in a second. Here's the power adapter cable. Here's a remote, which does take, as you can see, AAA batteries. It also includes an HDMI cable and an instruction booklet. Now if we take a look at the box here, take a look at the ports that are on here. So, we've got two USB ports, and the HDMI port for HDMI output, and now this box is 4K capable, if uh, any of you are interested in that. Uh, there is an Ethernet port. Um, it does have Wi-Fi. It can connect to dual band networks, so both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz networks. Uh, but if you do want to directly connect it for a slightly faster connection, you can use this Ethernet port. Um, there's also this headphone port right here, optical audio port right here, and the power port right there. Uh, there's an SD card slot here uh, to expand the storage on the device. You can also connect USB drives to these USB ports here uh, for expanding the storage or connecting hard drives that you might have movies or TV shows on. So what I'll go ahead and do now is connect this to my TV and then I'll continue the review. Okay, so I've hooked up the TV box to my TV now. And uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to take a closer look at the remote here. Uh, so on top here there's a power button, there's a browser button, a mute button, volume up and down. Um, this will not control your TV volume, but it will control the volume on the box itself. It has a separate uh, volume level. Um, navigation pad, then you've got a menu button, a home button, back button, um, number keys here, uh, backspace here, and then this is to uh, bring up the, the on-screen mouse. So you can press this and then you can use these number pads to move it around. Okay, so let's take a look at the box right here. So it's connected to my TV. Uh, now my TV's maximum resolution is 720p. And what was nice was if we go into settings here. So, so one thing I'm, I'm going to mention, this, this remote here you guys can see it. So this remote, um, it's kind of dark because it's focusing on the screen right now, but um, the remote is, uh, is not that responsive. I'm about six feet away from my TV right now and uh, it's not working too well. So I'm going to knock off one star on my review um, because of this. Uh, but okay, if we look into settings here, so the first page you see the network settings. Now if we go to the next one. So what I have done, because this remote doesn't work too well for me, is um, what you can do is get one of these. Let me turn the camera down so you guys can see. So you can get one of these um, keyboard combo uh, air mouses. Um, so this is like a mini keyboard. Um, and this also can control uh, my TV volume, channel up, down, etc. Um, this specific one is made by uh, Nulaxi or AIRB. It's A-E-R-B. Uh, so if you look this up, you, you might be able to, to use this. So this connects via like a, a USB receiver that I plugged into the TV box. And this works great to control um, the box. And I actually prefer it since it has a full keyboard on it. So anyways, if we look here, um, so the first screen shows you the, the network settings. Um, then on the display, it automatically detected um, that my TV was 720, uh, which was nice, um, at 60 hertz. So I didn't have to change any settings. Now, if you wanted to, you could uncheck this and then set it to your own preferences. And now if we go over here, 
we can see that the, um, the box runs Android 4.4.2 and um, some more uh, specs on this it has 16 gigabytes of space um, out of that about 11 are usable uh, but you can expand it uh, by plugging in flash drives, external hard drives, um, or even SD cards as I uh, showed you the ports on the box. Uh, it also has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, now apart from the remote, it is pretty responsive. And now if we go back to the home screen here. So on the home screen there's different categories um, that you can you can add your own uh, apps or channels to. So online video, I've added YouTube and XBMC, as you can see right here. And now, uh, if you go to um, if you go to my apps right over here, you can view all the apps that you can install. So there's a lot already installed, and you can also install some more through the Play Store right over here. So now let's go back and I just wanted to show you an example of what a, a video plays like on this device. So this, the, the, the Wi-Fi connection is pretty good. Um, I have a pretty strong signal to, to my router. It's about equivalent to what I get uh, from, from my, my iPad or my computer um, where I currently am in my house. Uh, but if I go to YouTube here, I just wanted to show you a trailer for Movie Inside Out just to give you an idea of how, how videos look on this this box. So I'll go ahead and play this right here. So, Riley, how was the first day of school? Fine, I guess. Did you guys pick up on that? Sure. Yeah, something's wrong. Signal the husband. <laughs> What did she say? Oh, sorry, sir. No one was listening. It's a garbage night. Uh, we left the toilet seat up. What is it, woman? What? I'm Joy. This is sadness. That's anger. What? This is disgust. Uh, and that's fear. Uh, fear by these emotions. Okay, so mo hopefully that gave you a good idea how videos play. Um, as you can tell, it was, it was uh, HD quality uh, trailer off of YouTube. Um, it works pretty well in my experience. And um, this box also has XBMC installed, uh, so you can use that to play videos from various sources, as well as if you connect your own um, external hard drive or flash drive with movies or TV shows on them, you can use that as well. So now let's just go back to the home screen here. Um, that pretty much concludes my review here. Um, overall, it, it works pretty well. Um, I give it four stars, uh, just because this, this remote here doesn't work um, as well as I had hoped. Uh, now most people, if they're using this with a TV, would probably be using it at least um, six to ten feet away. And the current distance that I am with it not working, um, it's kind of a hassle. Uh, but like I said, you can get uh, one of these keyboards. You can even use your own keyboard and mouse um, connected uh, to the, the box as long as it's um, either Bluetooth or uh, USB connection. Um, overall though, uh, I'm pretty happy with this box. It works well. I give it four stars. Thanks for watching.